I'm John Cole. I've worked at the Library of Congress for more than 40 years, and I have no intention of retiring. I am the founding director of the Center for the Book in the Library of Congress, which promotes books and reading. I'm also a historian of the Library of Congress, so I know lots of inside stories that I'd like to share with you. For example, did you know that the Library of Congress last year received more than 50,000 letters from students telling us about books that had helped shape their lives. Taking a cue from my own project, today I have two books that helped shape my life, and I'd like to tell you about them. The first is called The Scholar Adventurers by Richard Altick. It tells how research and books can be fun. I read this when I was, I think, in high school, perhaps in college, and these, have, these are wonderful tales of research. Uh, with personal papers and I learned about manuscript collections and what it took to bring a manuscript collection into an institution. Many years later when I came to the Library of Congress as the head of the Center for the Book I asked Mr. Altick to be part of the Center for the Book's first National Advisory Board. He did come and I did have a chance to meet him but to my amazement and dismay he said no he didn't have quite enough time to spend on such an advisory board. Well, that happens sometimes, but I treasure what he did in producing this book, which helped shape my life. A second one is a book of writings from the Federal Writers Project, which I picked up in a used bookstore. This one has more of a professional connection, because in my first years at the library, I was a collections librarian, and I discovered that the Library of Congress itself had in a warehouse, of all places, a lot of the primary resource material from the federal arts projects. Well, I knew about that collection, these collections, from this particular book, and it stimulated a couple of important Center for the Book and Library of Congress projects, which have ended up helping us digitize a lot of the federal arts materials from the 1930s. A wonderful project in particular was to bring back uh, every, in 1994, everyone who'd worked, who was still alive, who'd worked on any of the federal arts projects, and we interviewed them and, in fact, have continued to work with them as they, um, as long as they're still with us uh, in for ma making these collections more usable. I'm John Cole. I hope you join me again on redroom.com to continue our conversations about the Library of Congress.